Solid bra. That's some fucking solid shit, dude. Josh Migliori and welcome back to another episode of the Running the Past cooking channel. So, folks, this week the weather has been, it's been, not been frightful, it's been delectable. It's been so beautiful outside. We've had sunny weather, warm heat, and it's just getting me in the mood for two things. Summertime and fish tacos. Fish tacos. And today we are going to show you how to make Baja fish tacos. And then, when you think it's done, it's not. I'm taking the fish taco game to another level with my soft shell crab Korean tacos. That's right, folks, calm down, I said it. You're probably sitting there going, oh my God, Josh, what are you talking about? You're gonna take this and that and smash it together? It's gonna be good, calm down. Take a second, breathe, I've got you. Just watch this video and let's get into it. Step one is making corn tortillas. All right, folks. So today we're starting off with, whoops. Oh, nice save. A bowl, a tortilla press, masa harina, beef tallow, and one and a half to two cups of very hot water. So start off by adding two cups of your masa to your bowl. Then add one tablespoon of your beef tallow. Make sure to get everything in there. Use your fingers. Add a big pinchy of salt, and then incorporate the beef tallow in with the mixture. Then slowly add your water. You're looking for a Play-Doh type consistency with your dough, so don't add all of your water. Add it in steps. You're not gonna need the full two cups. Then wet your hands and simply work your dough into its final form onto any surface. Roll it into a nice, beautiful, smooth ball. Add it to a bowl and cover for 30 minutes. Once your dough is rested, make sure to weigh it first and not cut it like me. This will help figure out how many tortillas you'll actually be able to make with this dough and make the process of dividing it up a lot easier. This recipe came out to be just shy of 18 ounces, which ends up being two ounces per ball and eight tortillas total. Once weighed out, simply dip your hands in water and roll them into balls until you have eight beautiful, smooth balls. Once all your balls are rolled out, you're ready to start pressing them into tortillas. Simply place a piece of parchment paper down, then your masa ball, another piece of parchment paper, and then give that some bitch a good pressing. And look at that, folks. Perfectly even. Repeat this process until all eight balls are pressed into your corn tortillas. Look at that stack. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Cooking your tortillas is extremely simple. Add some beef tallow to your pan. Get that rip roaring and soaring and cook your tortillas one at a time, two to three minutes per side. Step two is corn and poblano salsa. Okay, folks, for this recipe, you're going to need two ears of corn, one poblano pepper, and a half of a red onion. Pretty simple, right? First, start off by making a huge mess all over your counter. Seriously, folks, I could have used the bowl or that dumb TikTok hack, but in all honesty, just cut it on a cutting board and add it to a bowl. Make sure to get every kernel off of this. Don't be stingy. Then use your sweet knife skills and finely dice up that red onion. Then simply julienne and finely dice your poblano pepper and add everything to your bowl. Then, as always, add some oil to a hot pan, get it rip roaring and soaring, and add your mixture to the pan. You're going to want your heat on high 
We're not cooking this very long, just looking to add a little bit of char to your salsa. Step three is making the Asian slaw. Start off with one half each of red and green cabbage, one carrot that is a dumbbell, two garlic cloves, one half of a white onion, three green onions, rice vinegar, shoyu soy sauce, sesame oil, black sesame seeds, crushed red pepper flakes, and sugar. Starting off with the dressing, add two tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of shoyu soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and one tablespoon of sugar. Then add about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Using a microplane, grate those two garlic cloves into your dressing. Then simply add about a teaspoon of black sesame seeds to your dressing, take your whisk, and mix together. And there you have it, a dressing for your slaw. Now for the slaw itself, you're gonna wanna shred, like those heavy metal hippies I'm always talking about, both halves of your cabbage and add them to a bowl. Next, finely chop your green onions, then thinly slice your white onion. Then you're gonna wanna grate your carrot. Finally, add your dressing to your slaw and fully mix together. And there you have it, folks, Asian slaw. Step four is making the sauces for the tacos. For the chipotle baja sauce, start off with mayo, sour cream, chipotles and adobo, Old Bay seasoning, cilantro, and a lime. And for the gojujang mayo, it's pretty simple. Mayo and gojujang. For the chipotle baja sauce, start off with half a cup of mayo and about a half a cup of sour cream. I ended up adding two chipotle peppers and a little bit of the adobo sauce, but you can add more or less depending on how spicy you want it. Add about a half a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. Then add some garlic and onion powder. A pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper, and a squeezy of lime juice. Finally, add a few sprigs of cilantro, and then, like always, fight the hell out of your blender. Once you figured it out, blend until everything's well incorporated and your dressing is smooth. Then find the biggest sauce bottle that you can find and add it to that. And there you have it, folks, Chipotle Baja sauce. For the gochujang mayo, start off with half a cup of mayo, then add some garlic and onion powder, then add about two to three tablespoons of gochujang, a little splash of rice vinegar and soju soy sauce, and then blend until smooth and well incorporated. Finally, add it to your sauce bottle and store in the fridge until ready to use. Step five is making the tempura batter. For the batter, you'll need flour, cornstarch, club soda, and sake, two eggs, and gochujang. The oh, <laughs> motherfucker. Once finally cleaning up, you're gonna wanna crack one egg into each bowl and then fully whisk until well incorporated. For the soft shell crab batter, add two tablespoons of gochujang to your egg mixture and whisk that together until again, well incorporated. Then in your regular Baja taco mixture, whisk in your club soda and sake, and then repeat this process with your soft shell crab batter. For the dry ingredients for the batters, you'll need a quarter cup of cornstarch and three quarters of a cup of flour. That goes for each batter. Then simply sift your dry ingredients into your wet, and finally mix your batter together. Don't overwork this whatsoever. It's completely fine if your batter has some lumps in it. To keep this batter cold, add some ice cubes to it till you're ready to fry. Step six is preparing and frying the seafood. We only really need to cut the cod loin since the soft shell crab is pretty much ready to go. Just cut them into one inch strips and you're ready to fry. With a pot full of oil and heated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, Simply drop your cod into your batter and then swirl it around in your oil. You don't wanna just drop this in there and let it sink to the bottom. Try to build up a little bit of a crust and then gently let it float in your oil. I recommend doing this in batches. You do not wanna add all of your fish at once and this should cook up pretty quick anyways. You're not looking for any golden brown color on this whatsoever. For your soft shell crab, add it to your gojujang batter and then gently, and I mean gently, add this to your oil. 
do not drop this in there right away. You will have an explosion on your hands. This should take about five minutes to cook up and look at that, it is beautiful. Step seven is plating. For your Baja fish tacos, take two corn tortillas and add two pieces of that fried cod, then one scoop of your corn and poblano salsa. Then add a few leaves of cilantro, add a generous amount of that chipotle Baja sauce, then with them fancy tweezers, add two thinly sliced pieces of jalapeno. Finally, add a lime wedge to the plate, and there you have it, guys and girls, Baja Fish Tacos. For the Korean-style taco, first add your corn tortilla, then your gojujang battered soft-shell crab, top it with your Asian slaw, lastly, a generous amount of that gochujang mayo, and we have done it, folks. Another recipe crushed. That sound good so far? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Does it sound flat? Stupid? Dumb? I could do better. Yeah, I'm gonna start over. All right, folks, and there you have it. Baja fish tacos. I see it every video, every video. Just watch, follow along, and you at home will be able to make this. We have that fish that's been battered in that tempura that's so light, it's airy, it's just so damn delicious, folks. On the fresh made corn tortillas. Corn tortillas. So good. And then we topped it all off with that Baja Chipotle sauce. And uh, look at it, folks. Just look at it. It's so good. It's just undressing me with its eyes. It's so good. And speaking of delicious and delectable and good, my take on the fish taco soft shell crab. Battered in that tempura again, but with a twist, gochujang, tempura. You, you're not seeing things. It's real. It's right here. It's so good. We added that Asian slaw. It's spicy. It's got that reminiscent kimchi taste. It's so, so beautiful. Look at this. Again, I can't. Folks, I mean, I could talk about it all day, but really, just watch the video, subscribe. You will be able to do this at home. It's super easy. And it's just, ugh, goodness gracious me. Well, folks, before I let you go, I'm diving into one of these tacos. But before I do that, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media. It's in the link in the description below. I will love you forever. I promise. Please follow along. I want you to be on this journey with me. And speaking of following along, follow me down here to this beautiful taco. Fold it on up. Here we go, folks. Saving that for later. Cause it's so freaking awesome. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me, let me wipe that Baja sauce off my face. Mmm. That Baja sauce. Cilantro. It's got that Old Bay. It's just got flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. That fish is flaky. It's light. Doesn't make me feel heavy. Cause if you're eating this on a summer night or on a summer day and you're out there partying, drinking, doing whatever, and you're eating heavy, battered, oily, gross fish, your day's ruined. Why would you eat that when you could eat this? Folks, thank you so much for following along, and we will see you next week. 